everyone, my name is Kat. And I'm Blondie. <laughs> and we are going to be making a brand new video. It is going to be a DIY slash tutorial video, our first ever. And it's our first ever with Blondie being in. Hi. <laughs> we also do have Kat, he is in the background. What's up? He is not going to be a part of this video, he's doing his own thing today. So we are going to be making, as you can tell, some Lon Lon milk candles from the Legend of Zelda series. We have in the little basket some moss, some candles with corks or wooden tops, this cute little sign that I made that says break in case of hero, and that is for this little clay pot. I wish there was rupees in it, that'd be amazing, but unfortunately there is not. So what you're going to need in this tutorial. Alrighty, so what you're going to be needing, we're going to be needing a jar, a jar with a cork or other stopper. You can use jars of any sort of uh, height or width. This jar, and as you can see, I got this jar from Goodwill, but it originally came from Pier One for four bucks. So you do not have to spend a ton on these jars. You are also going to need some wicks. I got these at Michaels. They are tall wicks. You do not need the tall ones. You can use whatever size that would fit your candle. You're going to need a scent. I chose a vanilla because it was the closest I could get to the um, milk flavor or milk scent included in that little package which I got from uh, Michaels as well is a is a stopper in the vanilla scent you're also going to need some crazy glue or some regular Elmer's glue that'll also work you can get these for free online anywhere. They come in many different um, designs and colors and logos. I chose the one that is orange, of course, with the um, beautiful contrasting blue seal with the Lon Lon Milk Ranch logo underneath. You're going to need either a small melting pot that you can use on the stove or, or a cook pot to melt your wax. We are going to be using both. So I'm just going to go ahead and plug that back in for me. Optional, you are going to have where you can do a wooden cork stop or you can use a traditional glass stopper, whatever is more accessible to you. The cork you can get at um, Ikea for $2.99. Optional again is going to be a clay pot to go along with your adorable little set. If you want, you can also make a bracing break in case a hero sign, double-sided, so when it sits up, no matter where they come in from, they'll see it. I filled my basket that I use for display purposes with this moss. Found it at um, Joann's, actually. It was not too expensive. I think it was $8.99 or $9.99, but I came with a whole full bag that is just a big mess. So if you're going to use it, be careful because it does make a mess. Do you want the basket too? Please. Also optionally, you can go to your Goodwill or your local thrift store. I only paid $1.99 for this adorable little basket. The little girl, who I'll pop up on the screen, is a part of the Zelda franchise and she is one of the daughters of the main rancher. I think she would carry a whole bunch of these to town. That's why I picked this one. Just adorable. I could totally see her walking around with that. Okay, and I'm going to put that to the side. You're also going to need some sort of wax. You can go to your Goodwill and they will sell you a whole thing for anywhere from $1.19 to $2.49 for a big batch of candles. These colors are orange, but I still think that they would look really cute for other projects. And then I got this beautiful creamy colored uh, pasteurized milk or something like that. Yeah. It'd be really cute for that. So. I picked this up along with Goodwill. You can also get them for $12.99 or $24.99 for the actual molds at the craft store like Michael's, Joann's, and I believe Hobby, Wob Hobby Lobby as well. Alright, we're going to get started. And now we wait. As you can see, the max, uh, the wax is melting very well. And what you're going to be wanting to do around this time is taking either wax 
or your glue. Painting the glue on. I'm using super glue, but you can also use Elmer's. It does not have to be super strength. And applying it to the base of your bottle or jar. Kind of press it down until it holds somewhere in the center. It does not have to be exactly in the center. And we're good. Now I'm going to take a slotted spoon, like it's a plastic spoon with a slot in it, to hold my wick in place for when I pour. That should be good. And I will trim off the excess wick later. Suggestion, if you're going to be using wax to make your wick stay in place, I suggest you let it sit and cool for about um, anywhere from two to five minutes in the freezer so it will actually stay because hot wax and cold wax will still melt it and your wick will move around. I really suggest doing the glue, but if you don't have any, it's okay. You can just use the wax. Inside of my candle, there is a wick. So I'm just gonna take this little wick out. All right, our wax is fully melted. So now it's time to pour. Oh God. <laughs> you want to have a funnel, but we don't. <laughs> So we are just going to try to pour this wax in this jar. You're wondering, what about the scent? There's a scent that needs to be used. Well, ours is actually already a little bit scented. I can smell it burning off right now. But if I want it to be more so, all I have to do is take my scent and just get a little bit, just a tiny bit of the scent. I filled it up right below five millimeters and dumped that in. <laughs> all I need. A little bit goes a long way. All right, this is our setup. We're using a plate so it does not stick to the stove top. Blondie's going to be making sure this wick stays in place. It's already started to come up, but we just recently glued it so we don't want to move it around too much. Please don't burn me. Okay. <sighs> Make sure you turn off your oven and use hot pads when you are moving the pot around. All right, and now you're wondering, what do I do? First, I made a big mess, but thankfully it's all on that plate so I can just easily get that off. Thankfully, I did not burn my friend. <laughs> Very thankfully. Get a funnel. Future me, get a funnel. You need a funnel as well, but if you do not have one, make sure you have a parent or guardian or you're at least 18 and know how to use a stove and a pot pour. Don't burn whoever is helping you. Be really safe. Um, Alright, so it looks really dark, but as you can tell from the bottom, it will, um, when it Solidify. cools down and, you know, hardens, it will be a lighter shade. Um, it smells delicious already, and she has got the whack in the bottom for me, staying right where it needs to be. I'm going to pick up this plate and take it to the freezer. Okay, <laughs> excuse the mess of the freezer. We just got through eating our last pound of ice cream, and... It's everywhere. <laughs> I kind of want all of it. Be very careful when you're carrying this over. Make sure you, you don't have want it to slosh all over the place. Enough room for your plate to be able to fit in comfortably, and for your wick to not have to move. It's okay if it gets a little wonky. When it starts to harden, you can actually manipulate where you want it to be. If you need to, you can always take a lighter and light the wax and smush it a little bit so whenever you move the wick it doesn't make a, li a long streak. This particular jar we do not have a cork for but I will be making a cork and I will be making a tutorial for that in a later date. And we will see you in about 15 minutes. And we are back. We're going to take a look inside the freezer and see how long or how far along our little candle is. We decided instead of 15 minutes to leave it in there for 30, 15 minutes is still like really watery. About 30, 45 minutes. And that is looking pretty fantastic. As you can see, it is already darkened, I mean lightened up a whole bunch. It is not going to be as light as the original. It's not going to be as light as this one. These candles were straight vanilla and they were like a white creamy color. As for this one started off as a deeper sort of like 
and earthy tone. It's pretty much solid on top and bottom. We leave it in there for another 10 minutes or so? 10-15 minutes. Alright, and we'll be back to it. Alright, and we're going to check on it yet again. It's been another 10-15 minutes. I'm giggling because Blondie is eating a piece of bread. <laughs> I thought she was going to be opening the freezer up for me. Look over and she's got a face full of bread. <laughs> it looks like it's pretty much done. So you can go ahead and take the spoon off. It's still a little warm on the sides, but it's 99% melted. I mean, um, yeah, solidified. All right, we're gonna take this back over to our table. Okay, and as you can see, it is pretty much done. The color of the plates, frozen wax, is about the color of the wax inside the jar. So we are going to go ahead and snoop the wax. So I'm going to need scissors. Handy dandy titanium scissors. <laughs> Just determine. It might sink down a little bit um, as it still cools. We're going to leave it to, uh, to solidify in the open overnight, no longer needing to be in the freezer, and um, it might suck down as it cools. So just leave a little bit of wick, a little bit more than you think you would need. Alright, and now I'm going to actually put the label on. So here is our label of choice. Dirty Crazy glue? Yep. You can use Elmer's or you can use the crazy glue or super glue. You could also use tape if you don't want to use glue on your jars. But that's what I'm going to use. Okay, so get your glue of your choice or tape. You would want double sided tape if you are going to use tape for the simple fact you don't want it to be shine. But if you do, just make sure you use as little tape on the edges as possible. Alrighty, and now that you have it flushed to the jar and it has stayed on, you have created yourself a Legend of Zelda Lon Lon Ranch Moo Moo Milk um, candle. And now you can make these, give them out to your friends or family or a great gift for a guy that is kind of nerdy. I know that for Valentine's Day, I gave my husband two of these, um, and it's a little surprise. And if you're going to use a basket, you don't have to use one, you can use two, you can use three, however many you decide to make. It's your basket, fill it full of the moss that you already got, or you can use um, Easter grass, whatever you have in your area, or on hand. Does not need a cork top, it can be used as wooden or glass, or just a plain little top. Put them together with another candle that you have pre-made. Or use a jar. Finish off with the adorable little breaking case of Hero. And let them enjoy. So how would you like this tutorial? Is it something you'd like to see later in the future? Something similar? Something different? Would you like to see us uh, tackle other nerdy things? Or other sorts of wax creations? Please look forward to our new ones coming out. We're going to be making them and putting them out every Saturday. It's going to be me and Blondie and sometimes Kess. Anything else you want to add, Blondie? Uh, just leave creative ideas in the comments and subscribe. Alrighty, we'll see you next time. Bye! Bye!